I'm Tracy Godu. I live in Johnson City, Tennessee, and I started racing in 2008. When I was a little girl, I think I was maybe six, I saw a Corvette and I fell in love with them. And I thought one day I'd own one. And it took me a while, but I finally got the, the car that I have. And I'm a one woman race team. I mean, I'm the team driver, owner, financier. I tow everywhere by myself. I do everything. So I had to learn all of that as well as learn how to drive the car. So I wanted to win a national championship with the National Council of Corvettes and did that in 2008. It was imperative I do it that year because it was like the 50th year of that organization and the 30th year since anyone from my club at that time had won. So it was very important that I better learn how to drive this car quickly and win this. No pressure, right? I just love competition. I love being in my car. People are like, are you, when are you going to buy a new car? I'm like, Hell, I'm not. I've spent so much money on this one. I can't, I mean, I know the car. She's like an old friend. I bought the car off the showroom floor. I would practice at night when I'd come home from work and yeah, I stalled it, I spun it. Luckily the car had a lot of torque, so if I could get the car rolling, I was pretty good. But the car is special to me. Like yesterday, I went to go check on her in the hallway and um, just to see if she was still there. <laughs> I walk down and I see her from a distance and it's like, I've got a connection with that car and I love driving that car and competing in it. I mean, I, I race primarily with men and that's okay because I, I was in the military as well, in the Air Force. I was very shy when I was out of high school and, and uh, so being in the Air Force for six years helped that. Um, and you start to lean on yourself and, and do things yourself. And I'm used to being around men. I work in a medical, uh, I have a medical profession and I'm a physician assistant. I work in surgery. The surgeons are primarily men. I'm used to being around men, so talking to them is no big deal. And they really respect me and what I'm doing and what I've done. And so I'm just not out there trying to be a girl racing. They really see me as an equal, and, and that's who. That was, on, that was a big honor that people thought enough of me to nominate me. Then to be chosen by Hoosier down to the 25, I mean, I'm not just saying this. I've only used those tires the whole time I've competed. They're very, the company's very special to me. I love the tire. There's nothing better than a brand new Hoosier. So truly, I love the brand, and I'm very brand loyal. And to be considered to be a part of the, that brand, I can't believe that. You know, I mean, I don't have thousands and thousands of followers, but they're very engaged with me, and they care about what I'm doing. I think that means a lot. I have two very separate lives, um, racing and then working. So my personal life is sacrificed from that. Sometimes you get to the point where like, why am I doing this? Is this worth it? I'm gonna be honest. I have had those moments several times, but they're very brief because I don't want to stop doing this. It's a lot of work, but I always come back pretty quickly and say, yes, it's worth it. We're gonna keep doing this till I can't anymore. My name is Tracy Gadu and I'm a Hoosier hero.